Today we're going to take you on a tour to Centreforce Clutches, one of the leading clutch manufacturers in the world. With over 1,700 applications and an amazing high-tech facility, these guys know their friction control. Let's see how these clutch experts work their magic. While on a business trip in 1994, Prescott, Arizona was discovered. Arrangements were made and a new 47,000 square foot state-of-the-art manufacturing facility was built. This move was nearly transparent, with close to 90% of the Centreforce team moving with the company to the new facility. Today, Centreforce has nearly 1,700 different clutch applications in different levels of performance available to the automotive enthusiast. Now that you know a little bit about the history behind Centreforce, let's get to know the clutch assembly itself. The main components to a clutch system is a flywheel, clutch disc, pressure plate, throwout bearing. The way these work is the throwout bearing actually pushes on the diaphragm of the pressure plate, releasing the drive disc itself, which is sandwiched between the pressure plate and the flywheel. When you push on the pressure plate, it releases the disc, which disengages the engine to the transmission. Now that you have an idea of how the clutch works, let's head over to manufacturing and see how it's all put together. Behind me is our main machine department where we do all assembly and disassembly. We also machine our ball bearing processes here right behind me in the CNC machine, along with all custom tooling and small runs. Here we are at the bonding department. Here's where we make our segmented friction material for the center force dual friction and dual puck disc. Here we use heat, chemical, and pressure to bond the friction material to the steel back linings. Now that you know how our dual puck facings are made, let's go over to the disc department and see how they're put together. This machine has been designed to adjust the marcel by stamping down on the spring steel pads on the disc. There are different dies and settings that tune the marcel in the disc. Once the disc is adjusted and assembled, each one is checked to make sure it's flat and straight before it's placed on an input shaft to ensure fitment. Centreforce uses some pretty sophisticated equipment to ensure quality, and this testing machine is by far the most effective and top secret. By alternating heat and pressure variances, Centreforce is able to effectively simulate real-world clutch wear and record the data to ensure that all future Centreforce clutches can stand up to the most rugged of conditions. Now that our clutch is ready to go, it is sent over to the shipping department for final packaging. We're in the shipping department where we ship thousands of units a month. Here we're shipping an order today. We take great pride to make sure that we correctly and carefully package every unit to make sure it rises your door safely. Okay, here we are. I wanted to show you a sneak peek of the latest development in Centerforce clutches. Our new twin clutches for the LS series engines, the new Challenger, and the late model Mustang. Here we have our sprung hub bottom disc here. I'm going to run a floater. Floater plate comes on here. It's got three drive pins. Floater drives here. Here's your drive pin. The upper plate that slides on these six pins will drive both clutches and the pressure plate would go on top. This is our Focus SVT with a two liter and a six speed transmission. This is our new aluminum flywheel pressure plate and this. This is a nine and an eighth inch assembly. This aluminum flywheel weighs 12 pounds, which is 12 pounds lighter than the stock factory dual mass flywheel. Well, baby, with Center Force Clutches, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I found the keys for the boss's car. I'm going to launch.